Welcome to Pursuit of Happiness. Today, we are continuing the year-long, two-year-long project. Alex, you pumped? Mm -hmm. First thing we're gonna do is break into our neighbor's house. Well, not his house, but his backyard. We need some. We, need, we gotta go get some. All right, we got back. Dead battery at Home Depot. I'm soaking wet with sweat now because of uh, unloading everything. Got the trailer put back in the neighbor's yard. Truck's parked for now. Have to get a battery in it tomorrow. But now I have all of this lumber. Got some deck waterproofing finish, some dark finish for the ballisters. So this is the project to wrap the bottom of the uh, pool area and uh, with lattice work and finish up the rails. So I'm going to start working on this and see what I can get done today. It's kind of looking nasty out. You can see the, there's a little bit of blue right there. That's what we're gonna focus on. So we'll see how much of this I can get done and put together and what we can show you in today's episode. So, stay tuned. All right, so I'm more sweaty and representing Demolitia, of course. Um, I've got the math done for the first uh, section along the wall, the longest portion of it. And what I put together is this. So, this is kind of a little less than a half. So it's put together with this corral board and lattice. Put it together to frame the lattice. <clears throat> Attach the lattice. The uh, truck here with the dead battery is working as something to lean my wood against. Attach the lattice on the back side. I think it turned out pretty decent. So far, so good. So I need to make another one just like this one and put it together. I did find that cutting the lattice, I was kind of worried about cutting this lattice because it's so difficult. But what I did was lay it out a full sheet. So this is one full sheet here. And then this is a half a sheet. So I laid it out and nailed this down and then cut it off using the, the um, corral board as kind of the backer. Set my saw blade depth to where it just made it through. Down here it kind of nicked the board a little bit, but I don't really care. So, I think that worked out well. The trick is gonna be getting Tammy and Alex to help me carry this around back because I can't carry it alone. I can stand it up alone, can't carry it alone. Oh yeah, she's got it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. Now here, right. we're gonna end up cutting this off okay. because this is going to be the joining side to the middle here so this is going to be the actual middle so you only want to go like here all right and here and here because the rest of it will get cut off now just come to the I other side go. 
Yeah. Like this? Yep. Got it. Now the trick is when you run out of nails, you don't always know because the hammer still puts a dent. It does. Yeah, the hammer still puts a dent in the wood. And then all of a sudden you realize you push down on one that's like springing up and shoot it and it springs right back up. You're like, wow. Okay. but I'll go get you more nails. Not let push down on the safety and then shoot yourself in the finger. So we'll do it like the actual safe way. Disconnect your air. So this is a quick disconnect. You pull down on this yeah. sleeve. I got you. I can do it. You want to do it? Yeah. If it's too hard, push up before you pull down. Push up with your hand. Oh, with my hand. Yeah, that's too hard. <laughs> now push this in and pull it out. Nice. See, you're about, oh, you just threw nails out. Oh, All right, yeah. pick the nails up. It's like staples up in there. Yeah. I was expecting to load it like I load my gun. Like one nail at a time, not the connected nails. I'm so stupid. No, put it, flip it back over. No, flip the gun back over. Oh. There you oh, go. Oh, they go in there? They go into that track. So okay, stick the so bottom into the bottom of the track. No, stick the bottom in. Oops. Still stick the bottom in. What, this? Bottom goes in, then they lay down. The bottom goes down oh, inside okay, of there. Okay. Now, slide that shut. Cock my gun. Slam it home. Now, can you put it back on? Doubt it. Doubt it too. Oh, you gotta let go of the release. Watch this. Nope. Nice job. Nailed it. Here you go. You gotta push it in and let go. Okay. You can do this it. Is too awkward. No, you can do it. it. Has to be done like this. Nailed it with the nailer. Now, where were you? Um, bent over. Yeah, that's true. I can see where you were. Did I do these? No, because we're not going to do those. Oh, that's right. Those are where we're You finished cut. here. So then, need to go up You're the here. side. Okay. Let's see. That's attached. Stupid ganats. You got it. Yeah, I do. Oh, now she's getting cocky. Now she's getting cocky. Now's when you get a knee, uh, a nail in the knee. When you give me something that fires, I get cocky. Not towards you. You see. I'm not gonna shoot you now. Now don't forget. Now I need to do up the middle. Yeah, you ended here. I did. Look yeah. My pattern. One, so. Two, yeah, this is going to be a pain because those staples from when they built this are sticking out. So I'd kind of shoot probably high. I would shoot, actually shoot into the bottom one. What's the bottom one? Okay. Here? No, the staples aren't sticking out of this one. Oh. All right. Did I get them all? Or? Those two? Yeah, but like that one. Yeah, no, you're good up here. I was, I was in the emergency room once when I hurt my arm playing basketball and there was a guy with a framing nail in his knee, sticking out of his knee. And what had happened was he was carrying the gun with his finger on the trigger like you're not supposed to and he was walking uh -huh. and he bam yeah. shot. I tell you, my arm was kind of partially broken, and uh, it was bent. It was weird, hard to explain, but it didn't truly break. But when I saw that, I was like, I don't feel so good. <laughs> I need to leave. <laughs> because I it's harder to see illnesses and injuries on someone else. Yeah, and we were... It's easier to be the patient than the... They were taking us back to a room, and he was just sitting there on yeah. the edge of the table... And there's this <laughs> nail. And you know, it probably was all of like four seconds that you walk past yeah. and you realize instantly 
there's a nail sticking out of his knee. Then I had to know why. So, don't walk around with your finger on a trigger. It's moral of the story. I never do it with my guns either. Nope. I know better. Nope. My brother's taught me better than that. Mm-hmm. Now she's forgotten where she was. We'll stop. Camera time. There's Oscar. Causing problems. Oscar's very upset. We're under attack. Looks like, um... Just pull up on it. You'll feel. Now those are those are probably good. Whoa! You just shot into nothing. Shoot. <laughs> we'll have to pull that out from the other side. Yep, I got her all, all the clamped. So I lost. Put one here to be safe. And then technically we should be here, but because of the way they cut this, we have like no wood. Correct. So um, I would two, probably just one, put one, one there. No, because it's just going to split it. Here? Yeah. Okay. Same with here then. Yep. The whole line's going to be that way. You might be able to catch uh, a I little wood up higher. Okay. These are trim uh -oh. nails. I don't know if I did. I don't know how far down that goes. Yeah, these are trim nails, so they're pretty thin. Pretty solid. Yeah. All right. Soon we will be moving these to the back. We'll see how that goes. All right. So we got it put in here. Here's what we got. Not bad. First major side done. We still have the other sides, but this was the long, nasty one, right, Mama? Yeah. Working over there tomorrow. Gets a little bit easier as we go, sort of. Not too bad. Extra furring strips for the other side. They're furry? Yes. I didn't know that. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Right now, I need to shower and eat. I'm having ice cream. She's having ice cream. I need food. I was thinking that yesterday, see, there was this thing that was gonna happen, and it didn't because we went out to eat. You want an omelet? I want an <laughs> okay. omelet. I'm gonna go eat an omelet, and we'll be back to you tomorrow. <laughs>